फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स सो एक्चुअली वेन वी आर कल्टिवेटिंग द मेडिसिनल प्लांट देर आर मेनी फैक्टर्स विच कैन अफेक्ट द कल्टिवेशन बिकॉज वेन वी आर कल्टिवेटिंग द मेडिसिनल प्लांट वी नीड टू इंश्योर एवरी थिंग वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ द केमिकल कॉन्स्टेंट वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द क्वालिटी ऑफ द केमिकल कॉन्स्टेंट्स इन द फ्रूट ड्रग्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू गेट फ्रॉम द कल्टिवेटेड मेडिसिनल प्लांट सो वी नीड टू टेक केयर अबाउट द मेनी ऑफ द फैक्टर सो देर आर मेनी फैक्टर्स विच कैन अफेक्ट द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट इन दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज द एल्टीट्यूड altitude altitude is nothing but the height from the sea level so what is the height from the sea level that we need to take care uh, because each and every medicinal plant will be having their own requirement Mean, means in which altitude it is going to grow and which altitude it is going to be suitable for the that particular medicinal plant that's what it can grow at the particular region only for example tea if if you see that the altitude of the tea it is 1000 to 1500 meters right so it, uh, there is a range between uh, 1000 to 1500 meter altitude supposed to be there for tea And next example cinchona cinchona bark which we are using for the anti malarial drug so it is 1000 to 2000 meter cinchona bark right so <coughs> tea cinchona coffee coffee is also a collateral drug which is very much useful it is also having its own altitude where it is going to grow 2000 One thousand to two thousand meter, then camphor. Camphor is having fifteen hundred to two thousand meter. Then cinnamon. Cinnamon bark, which we are using as a gold. So this plant, it is having. It is start from two fifty. to 1500 or 2000 even 2000 also it can grow or 1500 is the main thing 1500 meter when we talk about the cardamom cardamom it required 600 to 1600 meter so here we can see different medicinal plant it is having different altitude requirement so in this range below this range or above this range the a medicinal plant is not able to grow themselves or if it will grow also the uh, quality the quality and the nature of the chemical content is going to affected right so this is the things second factors which is important temperature what is the temperature of the climate where the medicinal plant is growing so in temperature in the same plant if you will see tea tea is having 70 to 90 fahrenheit temperature requirement same cinchona it is having cinchona is having 60 to 75 fahrenheit temperature requirement coffee coffee plant required 55 to 70 Fahrenheit. Cardamom. It is having fifty to one hundred Fahrenheit. 
so all are in the Fahrenheit here you can see temperature is also going to vary this is the specific requirement if the, the climatic temperature it will lies within this range the we can get the good quality of the medicinal plant when we are going so this is also one of the important factor which is going to affect our different medicinal plants next third one third one factor that is rainfall right yes uh, because the water is the main requirement of the medicinal plant so rainfall is also very much important so we need to calculate the rainfall uh, annually what is the uh, water holding capacity of the available soil so uh, how much centimeter it is going to be annually that is the important because in rainfall also if it is excessive rainfall excessive rainfall is also harmful for the plant why because in the plant there will be the some uh, what uh, the leaching what we are going to the uh, water soluble uh, water soluble compounds will be there so the leaching of water soluble compound excessive rainfall will leads so we should have exact rainfall requirement if it is more or if it is less that is also going to affect the quality of the medicinal plant next one fourth one that is soil soil is the very much important factor because uh, everything plants are getting from the soil so soil is having its own requirement uh, what uh, physical chemical and uh, microbiological microbiological property of soil what is physical property what is chemical property and what is microbiological property of soil because soil is giving to the plant mechanical support mechanical support right then next it is giving essential requirement what are the essential requirement plant is going to get right then nutrients nutrients is also important right because soil is having air water all the minerals right these are the things uh, it, the plants are getting from soil only so the what kind of soil we are going to select for the medicinal plant that is very much important right so uh, in the soil the particle size particle size is very important what is the particle size because it is going to provide all this requirement right so when we are categorizing or seeing that so uh, what is the diameter what is the diameter of the particle size so when we see that fine clay fine clay this is the soil so it is having less than 0.002 mm diameter that is the particle size right then coarse coarse clay in coarse clay it is the range is going to be 0.002 to 0.02 mm right same fine sand this is another soil its range will be 0.02 to 0.2 mm diameter same as in the coarse in coarse sand it is going to be 
zero point two to two point zero mm. So we can see the different soil will be having different particle size. So accordingly, we are going to select the for which one is the. So that is also very good, uh, important uh, factor affecting. Next, fifth one, soil fertility, soil fertility, what is the soil fertility? Yes, we have selected the particular types of soil, but what is the fertility of the soil, whether it is fertile soil or not? It may be fertile, it may not be fertile, right? So, we need to identify the fertility of the soil and uh, to increase, to increase the, if it is not there, to increase the fertility, we need to add into the soil like uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, we can add nitrogen fixing bacteria chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizers and uh, manures so these are the things we can add into the soil to increase its fertility so this is also going to affect the quality of the medicinal plant next one after soil fertility there is one more thing the length and the light what is the length of the day and what is the how much light length of the day and the light of the day it is going to increase or decrease the chemical moiety which we are going to get from the uh, crude drug right so uh, let us understand with the example for example peppermint peppermint mentha pudina right so this peppermint actually uh, the chemical constants menthol menthol and uh, Menthofurane, right? These three, the from the mentha or from the uh, peppermint plant, these are the three chemical constituents which we are getting when it is long day or long light, right? So at the same time, in the same plant, only menthofurane. Menthofuran, we are going to get only this chemical constituents in the case of salt day. So here we can see the length of the day is how much important. Actually, this three chemical constituent is very much important when we are cultivating peppermint or mentha plant. But when we are cultivating in the salt day, we are getting only menthofuran in the uh, instead of getting all these three menthol, menthol and menthofuran. Right. So this is also very much important. Next, step. seventh one. After this, uh, the main um, important is the fertilizers. Fertilizers and manures. Fertilizers and manures are also very much important in the cultivation of medicinal plant because uh, when we are using it, will be, it is going to, for example, chemical fertilizers. 
केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स प्लांट इज गोइंग टू गेट द रिक्वायर्ड मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्राइमरी न्यूट्रिएंट प्राइमरी न्यूट्रिएंट प्लांट नीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाइट्रोजन पोटेशियम फॉस्फोरस सेकेंडरी न्यूट्रिएंट सेकेंडरी न्यूट्रिएंट एग्जाम्पल मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम सल्फर माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट दे आल्सो नीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल आयरन कोबाल्ट बोरॉन मालिबडेनम जिंक राइट सो दीज आर द रिक्वायरमेंट कैन बी फुलफिल फ्रॉम द केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द प्रॉपर केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द cultivation and the quality of the plant next thing very much important that is the manure manure which we are uh, getting from the different plants and uh, seeds 